Welcome back. Today we're going to go ahead and install uh, some PS2 games to our formatted PS2 drive. This works with 2 terabyte and lower drives that are formatted for the APA partition that the PS2 utilizes. So first things first, um, we're going to need PFS HDD Manager, uh, OPL Manager. Uh, those are the two biggest ones we're going to be using here. So we'll go with PFS first. We are going to launch that right there. We can minimize that. This will be used for, again, formatted PS2 drives. So two terabyte or lower. This also works if you have a free hard drive boot, hard drive set up. So we'll, we're greeted with this menu here. We want to install PS2 games. So we're going to hit two, hit enter. Once to verify, hit one. Now do we want to change the default directory? This is going to be completely dependent on where you have your heart or your, your game stored. For me, it's on a separate hard drive, so I will be hitting yes. Now it wants me to type that path in. So G forward slash demo. Hit enter. Uh, use the database, yes. Recommended installation settings, also yes. So now it is going to go through and install these games. Um, the more games you have, the longer it's going to take. These are fairly small, just for the simplicity of the video. But I went through and I installed roughly a little over 550 games to a 2 terabyte hard drive, and that took about 19 hours, um, which is actually pretty good, considering uh, this computer only has USB 2.0, so it's... You know, not super fast by any means, but 19 hours is pretty tolerable. And I'm doing two games here. That way you can see that, um, you know, like the other programs we used to use back in the day, like WinHip, um, HDL Dump, HDL Dump, you could only do one game at a time for the most part. But this, you just select your list, have all your games in one spot. As long as they're valid ISO files, valid PS2 games that match the database, they will install. And if you haven't uh, set up your PS2 for a free hard drive boot uh, setup yet, then go take a look at my previous video on how to get that set up. I also have a uh, download of 2.63 terabytes of PS2 games on my free Wix website. It's not my torrent, but it's the one that I use to get the games, and they so far all work really, really well. So now we can press any key to continue. Minimize that. We're done with that for now. OPL Manager. So I have two games installed on here already. So <clears throat> we're going to get Game List. Might pop up, say, not responding. So there we go. So now what we want to do is Batch Actions, Art Download. I select all of them. We'll hit Start. Operation has been completed. And now we can go to So here's my old setup, here's the new one. So there's our art. So let me just change this real quick here. We'll just rename that to art and we'll just drag that over there so basically you want to have I don't know why I closed out of that you want to have your art in this folder here for PFS HDD because then we can come back to our batch script here and we're gonna hit 3 for OPL management hit enter we are going to go ahead and hit one to transfer our OPL resources. So you can go through this, you know, add apps, anything you want. We're gonna hit no, yes, no, 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 no. Press any key to continue, creating queue. 
installation has completed. Again, if you have a lot of files, this is going to take a little bit of time. So now we can go ahead. We want to any key to continue. We are done with this for now. So we can go ahead and eject our hard drive. Wait for that to spin down. Get your adapter. Now that that has spun down, plug it in. Wait for that to boot up. I do have, I haven't set up this hard drive with any of the new OPLs. So once this boots up, I'm just going to head over to ULaunch Elf and um, boot up the newest OPL. Probably should have uh, fixed that. This is just a demo hard drive that I use for videos. flash drive plugged in so we'll just wait for this to load up here we're gonna to go to file browser well you don't you won't have to do this if you have your setup properly I don't so and again the more games you have the longer OPL is gonna take if you have a custom theme it's gonna take even longer and if you have artwork it also does take longer as well so I already have configuration settings saved here, but basically what you want to do is come into menu, go into your settings, make sure that HDD games is your default menu, basically what you see here. Cache game list, turn that on, it'll help with load times. And then come down to display settings. So cover art is always going to be turned off by default, I'll show you that here. I don't know why it didn't uh, turn the artwork off. It's probably loading from the hard drive at this point. But that's what you do. Display settings. Yeah, see it turned it back on. And you know what? I don't think I hit OK, did I? Maybe. Well, mass zero is out. So there we go. Now it's turned off. So display settings on... there you go that is the easiest way to get games onto your PlayStation 2 hard drive by far the easiest I mean if you can find an easier way please let me know because I'd be willing to do it that way instead but um, this is by far the best way that I have found so now you can go through I don't have memory card installed you can create virtual memory cards through OPL um, but that's just how to add the games so we'll go ahead and stop this video. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please drop a comment below. Thanks for watching.